everybody, my name is Kenton De Young. This is Kenton De Young Travel, and today we are in Lima, Peru. So I am here for a month with an organization called Remote Year. Uh, we're in Lima right now, but throughout the month we're going to go visit other places around Peru. But for right now, for this week at least, we are staying here in the Salina Apartments. I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you exactly where I am that I'm staying. Uh, I just flew in yesterday, got, got my room yesterday, so it's all pretty brand new to me. Uh, you can see there's a major street behind me, but it's not as busy as some of the other streets I've been to in the past. And right, right this way, there's like a nice little uh, park. We see those trees there. We went to those trees, we walked past them last night, and there's all these cute little fruit bats flying between the trees, so it's pretty fun. So we'll take you inside, I'll show you what to see. Uh, out here on the street, you don't have to wear a mask, but because COVID is such a problem here in Peru, they do ask you to wear masks when you're inside, and it's mandatory if you're going to like a grocery store. So right now I'm okay, but as we cut through Freshy Bet over there, I will have to be wearing a mask. So I'm gonna stop the recording, start on the other side of the street where it's a little bit safer, and I'll see you guys there. Hello again, so I'm on the other side of the street, now I have my mask, and we're gonna go inside. So here we are going into Freshy. I like that, I thought that was really cute. So here is the main living area though. Actually, let me take off my mask and I'll do this again. Okay, so here is the main living area right behind me. You'll see we have a nice couch there, a little table. Over there is uh, Jamal's room, separated by the, from the main room. He has his own entrance on the other side of the hallway. Now I'm sure you're wondering about this view out here, how great my balcony view is. And as you can see, there's not much of a balcony. The uh, single room apartments, they have a balcony that goes out onto the street, and it's quite nice, but this is just more or less a, a glorified window. So here's a couch. I've, I've sat on the couch a couple times, you can tell the mess with the blanket, and uh, it's not that comfortable, actually. The middle, I think it's a hide -a bed or something, the middle has a nice metal bar in the middle, so it's not the most comfortable. Here you can see... Uh, we went grocery shopping, we bought some food, some bananas and, uh, and uh, oranges. You'll see here the sink, the dishes, and there's different signs they have. Please wash your dishes when you're after using them. Please turn off the equipment. We'll go this way now. Let's switch this down here. That didn't do anything, that's okay. I'm still getting used to the place. This is only my second day. So here is my room. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit for the video. It was a bit of a mess before. The bed is uh, low to the ground. If you notice, it's, it's, it's not that high from the ground at all. It's not quite on the ground. There's a piece, piece of wood under there. And my view out the window is similar to the view you saw in the last one. Nothing too extraordinary. But what you maybe didn't see when I walked in was this giant TV I have right here, which is kind of cool. And we have a little like yoga mat area here. They also gave us a yoga mat at the front. I probably won't be using it, so I saw some of my stuff there. Now we'll go into the bathroom. See, here's the shower. And they gave us like these these predefined like we got uh, body gel, shampoo, conditioner over here. We also have what is this hand gel? But this spout shoots like straight out, so it's it's kind of messy if you don't expect it. And over here we have the toilet and the bidet, which is kind of cool. I've never seen a bidet outside of Europe. But what's really neat about this about the toilet is because we are in the southern hemisphere. It should. Go counterclockwise. 
wasn't that uh, distinct, but apparently it was counterclockwise because we're in the south. Or is it clockwise? I don't remember. So we'll go out of here. We'll show off the kitchen a bit better because everyone wants to know about storage. Let's see what we got. So in this one, they gave us some dishes to use. Here we got some cutlery. Oh, we got some co cooking utensils here, a couple spoons and stuff. I actually haven't even looked in these yet. And the plastic cover, okay. Under the sink, not a whole lot, just garbage, you don't have to see garbage. One thing though is that you can't drink the tap water in Lima, so we had to buy these big jugs of water up here. Honestly, I think that's about it. Um, I've only been here for a couple of days, so I'm still kind of getting settled in, as, you, as you've seen. But I thought this was kind of show you where I'm living for the next month while I'm in Peru. So I'll probably get a couple more of these probably when we get down to Cusco or when we get up more into the Amazon, just to kind of see the different living situations throughout the, the country. But because everyone's going to ask me, where did you spend? What was it like? I thought, hey, I'll do a little quick little video and show you what it's all about. So here's a little tour of my place. Uh, I think that's everything for now. I'm sure I'll be many, plenty more of these as I, as I spend the month here. So again, this is through a program called Remote Year. It, it, they pretty much they relocate you to a different city, different country for a period of time. Uh, one month, three months, four months, six months, 12 months. I can't remember all the different programs they have, but this is like the one month program. So I'll probably talk more about Remote Year on my blog, on other channels, I'll probably do a review of Remote Year when the total trip is over. It's only like the second day, so I don't have a lot to say yet. It's still kind of, everyone's still flying in today, so uh, I'll show more to say in the future. So for now, um, that's everything. As always, my name is Kenton. This has been Kenton the Young Travel, and I will see you. It's, it's going to be here, right? It's going to be somewhere in Peru. It's going to probably be Lima, but I'll see you wherever that is. <laughs>